Welcome to Sally Melody's classroom where we learn basic music. Intervals, lesson 5. Remember we said intervals is a very wide unit, but whatever we are doing, we are doing it in basic way or at basic level. So today I thought it is good we look at something different still under intervals. We have qualities of intervals. Those intervals that we talked about in the previous lessons, we had a third, a second, a fourth, a fifth, a seventh, or even an octave. But now, having those intervals, we still have qualities of intervals. Not all intervals have the same quality. And these are the qualities. It's just like anything. Everything has got its own quality. So, they are not all the same in terms of quality. The count might be the same. It is a third. It is a fourth. It is a fifth. It is an octave. It is a second. But what kind of a third? What kind of a second? What kind of a fourth? What kind of an octave? So, we are going to look at it, and it is very simple. You will realize that some of the intervals, even if it is a third, maybe it has been reduced, the distance has been reduced maybe by a semitone, or it has been increased by a semitone. So, I don't want to discuss that right now. Today, I just want us to learn these six qualities of intervals. We have major intervals we have minor intervals we have perfect intervals we have augmented intervals we have diminished intervals and finally here we have an harmonic intervals major intervals minor intervals perfect intervals augmented intervals diminished intervals and harmonic intervals those are six qualities of intervals and each and every uh, quality is going to be discussed in the next lessons. So here we have like six lessons because we are going to be discussing each until we understand. Because the qualities of the intervals is very, very important. Even when you are playing on the piano, even when you are, you, you are singing, there is a quality that you need to look at. When you see the distance between the two notes, you're going to realize that maybe that interval is shorter or longer, and then the way you are playing it there or the way you are singing, sometimes you are required to reduce by a semitone or to increase by a semitone, where some notes are raised and others are lowered. We did that when we were doing the formation of sharps and flats. We did that when we were doing the major scales. So, just note somewhere. Take a book and note. These are the six qualities of intervals. These are six qualities of intervals. And then we are going to be looking at each. And before we close this lesson, let's just remind ourselves, what is an interval? An interval is a distance in pitch between two notes. Just like the way we measure distance in kilometers and miles. In music, we measure our distance in terms of intervals. Two notes. Here we have a C and here we have a G. So you have to, you have to count this and you have also to count this. And you also have to count notes that are going to be in the middle. So we have C, D, E, F, G. Don't leave anything behind. Even if you are counting outside the staff or whether you are counting them inside the staff, you must count all of them. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is an interval of a fifth. So, from C to G, it is a fifth. From C to G, it is an interval of a fifth. Even if we counted it inside the staff, 
like this you just draw your 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 stuff roughly like this and then here we have our c and here we have our g you count from the first note and you also count the notes that are coming in here between whether they are written or not so we have one which is on c we have two on this space we have three on this line we have four on this space and we have five on g so one two three four five that is an interval of a fifth but now since every interval has got a quality that is what we are going to be looking at because if for example here we had uh, the, the the g was uh, raised then that fifth it could be a fifth and another name a fifth with its own quality what kind of a fifth that is what we are talking about in this next lessons six lessons ensure that you follow me so that you are not left behind as we do each and every every quality of the intervals thank you very much for joining this class see you in the next class